A lot of people have been asking me if the Tamron 2875 balances on the Weeble Lab with the A7 III. The answer is yes, it does. Here it is, it's set up, it's balanced, it's working just fine. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I wasn't a huge fan of the last video that I did in terms of the background, so I've changed the setup here. I've jerry-rigged something else. Uh, what I've done is I've taken off the tripod legs and I've put a plate on the bottom of the Weeble Lab and attached it to a tripod. So hopefully this is a little bit better. The negative of this is that I'm not gonna be in focus when I'm talking about this, but really all you're really caring about and here to see is me balancing the Tamron on this guy anyway. So let's do it. Also, I found something else into the last video. Remember how I said that the plate comes into two pieces here, so when it's attached, you can take this off. Uh, the plate, base plate still stays on the Weeble Lab, but then you have this other plate on your camera and I wasn't really sure what it's for. This is actually an Arca style plate. So if you use any Arca base plates on all your other gear, you can take this straight off of the Weeble Lab and then attach it to your other stuff, take it off that, and then put it back on the Weeble Lab without having to change the base plates on there. It's making me kind of want to swap to this style of plate because it's much easier to balance with these than it is with the Manfrotto plates I was using before. So bear that in mind. Arca plate, if you use those, it's pretty useful for you. So this is a bit high. Let's just drop this down a second. All right. We only really need to see this part anyway. So if I loosen these all off, you'll see that it's just floppy. It's just not balanced at all. You do need to remove the lens hood on this just so it can balance it a little bit easier. And then the other thing to notice is when you're putting it on the plate itself, you wanna make sure that the camera is right at the back of the plate here. It's gonna be easier to balance if it's further back. This is a very front heavy setup, so just bear that in mind. Okay, let's lock all these off so it just makes it easier. So we're just worrying about balancing this axis right now. You'll see it's falling forwards there, so it means we need to move it back. So let's move it back just until it stays balanced. That looks pretty good, tying that off. We're gonna to go to this axis and it's already pretty balanced there, but just to show you because yours might not be quite as balanced as this already, let's bring that up. So I've turned it this way so you can see me balancing this axis. You'll see it's falling forwards. That means we need to move this axis back a little bit. So loosen it off, which is right here. Still falling forwards a bit. Remember, as I said before, these are just tiny little adjustments. So that looks pretty good right there. Let's tighten that off. Now let's go back to this axis here. And now it's falling backwards a bit, so let's just move it forwards a tiny amount. That looks pretty good right there. So now we should be able to just leave it. Pretty good. So I've turned it around right here so you can see. Now let's worry about the axis right here. So it's a little bit going to the right there. So it's going this direction, so that means we need to bring it back this way. So let's loosen this off a tiny amount. Just bring it ever so slightly. This is really hard to do backwards. Okay. That looks pretty good. You don't need to watch me do the entire thing, so I'll probably speed up some of these segments. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that one's balanced. In the last video, I did forget to show you as well how to balance the axis here. To balance that one, it's actually quite straightforward. You literally move the camera one direction, and then you move it back the other direction. And what shouldn't happen is this shouldn't move as you move it. So let's see what happens if I move it. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Uh, let me loosen it so you can see what would happen. So when you move it, it shouldn't move around like that. So let's just move it out. Well, the heavier the setup, it's gonna change the way this works. So when you move it like this, it should stay exactly like that. If I was to push this right in and I move it to the right, you see how it spins? It should not do that. So with heavy setups, it's normally gonna be right at the back here. So just pull that out, tie it off a little bit, and now just see how it works. So it's moving a little bit, so it's too far out. So just push that back in a little bit. Let's try again. And there you go, that's pretty perfect. So that shows you that the Tamron does in fact balance very easily on the Weeble Lab. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So there we go, the Tamron 20 to 70 on the Weeble Lab with the A7 III. It balances just fine. I hope that helps the ones that were asking about if this balances or not. There's your answer, it does in fact balance quite easily as long as there's no plate on there, just using the Arca plate that comes with it. 
Remember that you do also need to have the camera quite far to the back of the plate here for it's a front heavy setup. Front and top heavy setups, although they're under the payload, don't tend to work so well on the Weeble Lab. Just bear that in mind. Sometimes as well, you might have to take off the eye cup so it can actually go into vortex mode. Let's just show you here. So in my case, it does actually, it goes in fine, but if you're using a really, really front heavy setup and you have to go further back, um, then this would in fact not balance very well. One other thing as well that I'm gonna point out, because someone is sure to point out otherwise, I actually balance this at 28 there. So if you were gonna use the full focal length of this lens, anything from 28 to 75, you would actually wanna balance it at 50 instead, so it's in the middle. That way the gimbal can counteract for any adjustments from the, the lens being extended more from the barrel or back into the barrel more. It will probably counteract for any of the uh, the balances if you were just at 28 anyway, but just for less strain on the motors, better battery life, bear that in mind. Okay, hope that helps you guys. I will uh, see you in the next one. See ya.